Hi, I'm Miki Tebeka, and welcome to our video series about Go interfaces. Today we're going to talk about HTTP Roundtripper. So let's start with implementing an HTTP client. Say you have a client for a REST API, so you create a client, it has a base URL, and the HTTP client that actually makes the requests. And then when you ask to do health, you are constructing the URL, you create a new request, and then you call the client do, and then check for the status code that it is okay, otherwise you return nil for no error. Now you'd like to test this client, and you'd like to simulate, for example, a connection error. Doing this in real scenario, it's pretty problematic, but let's have a look. So if you look at the HTTP client, you see that it has a transport, which is a round tripper. And the round tripper is an interface that implements a single method, which is called round trip, gets a request and returns a response and a possible error. The goat input this round tripper so you can override the actual transport that the client is doing. It is used for SSL, uh, TLS, and other things, but we can use it also for our testing. So, what we can do, we can define our own type that is implementing HTTP round tripper. So it's going to be error transport, which is an empty struct. And the round trip method is going to return nil for the response and an error simulating that there was some kind of a connection error. And now we can write our own test connection error. Right? So we can create a new client, replace the transport with our own error transport, and then call the help command and make sure that we actually get an error. Right, and if you run the test, it is going to pass. So in places where you think that users will like to change the transport or like to mock things, this is the place where you can place interfaces in your structs. But start with concrete type and only when the demand comes, replace them with the interfaces. Mm -hmm. 